The day has finally arrived and we're going to the Maldives. I can't wait. We've been here two hours at Heathrow and we haven't gone through security yet. So it's taking a while. How's the cooking, Henry? Very good. What about the bit on your face? <laughs> So we've arrived at Doha, so it's quite a, a long flight so far. We've got um, a connecting flight now, so I've got around two hours to wait for our next flight. This is our villa. We're in number 523. Welcome to paradise. So the main bedroom is lovely. You've got view from your bed of the gorgeous Indian Ocean. stunning look at this We've got a big day bed here these lounges over here the cushions are only there because we had some rain so you can pop those onto these beds and then look at this out to sea all the villas have steps down into the lagoon how beautiful is this and then you have your slide as well you just literally press this button and the water starts perfect snorkeling and of course a lovely plunge pool unfortunately there's a lot of tiles missing in these pools but apart from that it is a lovely lovely pool good size yeah. we've only been here a couple of hours but already we're really enjoying it we've just had a nice drink and we're now going for a little wander to discover a little bit more of the island so i'll bring you along the island is covered in vegetation which is lovely and all the paths as you can see are sandy so I've currently just got some flip-flops on but you can just walk around bare feet as well it's warm but it's very very cloudy today and here comes one of the buses here these transport you around the island which is really really handy when you don't want to walk the other islands that we've been to in the Maldives have been much much smaller this one is huge in comparison and we are probably going to get a bit lost at times but there's these signs which will help us find our way. Strawberry lime and soda, isn't it? Nice. Nice? And then we've had a pina colada already and now onto the iced coffee. Fortunately, the heavens have opened, but me and Henry have still been in the pool, in the rain, playing with the ball. Still good fun and it's still really warm. How hot was the Thai salad? Hottest. I've ever had. <laughs> too hot. <laughs> He's eating it though. And I've almost finished mine too. Good morning. Um, so today is our first day. I'm talking a little bit quietly because the boys are still in bed. Um, but I've been awake for about an hour now. I think with the time difference and all the travelling yesterday. Um, I'm wide awake. I'm ready to go. Um, so the sun's coming up. It looks like it's going to be a better day today. We had quite a bit of rain yesterday. Obviously, it is the wet season, so we are expecting it. I know later we want to go to Jungley Pool. Um, there's an aqua fun session, so um, that will be good for Henry. And hopefully, we're going to get on the inflatables as well in the sea because that looks really good fun. It's a bit wobbly. Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> Come, boys.
We're off to Andalusia tonight, which is the Spanish restaurant. And um, we haven't eaten too much today. We had a little bit of food earlier. We've had a few cocktails, of course. So here goes for the evening. This is the lovely walk we have on the way to the restaurant. As you can hear, there's music playing and the lights change color. It looks very nice indeed. All the restaurants are beautiful here. The food so far has been absolutely amazing. Day two and we've got some lovely sunshine again this morning which is great. We've got the Dolphin Sunset Cruise this evening and we're also booked into the Maldivian Grill for dinner. On our walk around the island after having some lovely breakfast and we're heading towards orchid bar which is down the other end of the island these are a lot of the water villas with the slides and um, these are in the deeper water um, ours is actually a lagoon villa and we're just heading up here and hopefully it's not too much further we made it at last and it's a bar and pool area and it looks lovely. our villa for the afternoon just for a couple of hours because we're going out tonight for the dolphin sunset cruise so we've got some music playing we've got the pool here henry <laughs> he's got these massive inflatable balls Ooh. we're just chilling out now and then we're going to get ourselves showered and ready and out to hopefully see some dolphins onto the island now what a fabulous start to the evening that was how beautiful is the sunset over here off to maybe the sports bar first and then to Wahoo Grill good morning we are on day three and I'm off to the gym this morning. The only problem I've got is that it's finding the gym. With this island so big, I still haven't got to grips to where anything is. They're sweeping the sand paths. They keep this place so immaculate. Every few hundred meters, you've got these, which are the bus stops. And this one is called Cape Town. So they are all named after different places around the world. And you've got these maps here. And on the maps, it shows you where the buses are and their movement. I only really bother to grab a bus because I don't know where I'm going. So we're still just heading in this direction and we're hoping we're going right. I don't know if you can see through here, there's some chickens. These are all the sports courts. My son's going to be coming over here and having a go. 
Um, they've got futsal, they've got football, badminton, um, volleyball. It's crazy, it's got everything here. You can also hire bikes and go around the um, island on bikes. These, I believe, are $15 a day. We haven't bothered doing that because we do like walking. It's a shame really that the bikes aren't included because I think it'd be a great thing to have like by your villa and you can just use them when you want to. Here's the two badminton courts that they've got. Here we are, it was only one false turn so we're back where we need to be which is great. And this is the gym area and the sports bar. So I've got my water. It's freezing cold in here which is brilliant. I've got some free weights which is what I was looking for. Big mirrors as you can see. Loads of equipment. And down the other end there there's another section which is more of your cardio. My workout is done and it's now time for some breakfast. It's the Tempo restaurant and this is the um, buffet so you can get breakfast, lunch and dinner in here. <laughs> Happy days, I'm lying by the pool with my apple spritz, I've got a good book on the go and we've been dipping in and out of this pool because it's so hot, we're not lasting very long out of the water. The water's lovely and warm in this pool as well. tonight and they've even given me some gluten-free corn crackers. Chicken fried rice. There was a massive storm last night so we've woken up and our stuff is everywhere outside. Somewhere out at sea is my inflatable flamingo. He's gone forever. Three looks. and the sun is going down so this is our view from our room Henry's got a vanilla milkshake by the pool and even some cookies. How is it, Henry? Very good. We've just got back to our room in time. Wow. When it rains in the Maldives, it really, really rains. The sky was completely black. I've not vlogged much in the last few days. Unfortunately, as you can see here, we've got a rain flag and it's literally been constantly raining these few days. I'm looking pretty bad as well. So I'll keep you updated. Oh, lovely. Look how little he is. Now he's blind. Finally, a break from the rain. It's been raining all morning, so all the sunbeds are a little bit wet. It's very, very cloudy still, but you can actually feel the rays and it's lovely and warm. Unfortunately, my toe is still bandaged up, so I can't go in. It's a real shame, but we've only got a couple of days left. It's beautiful here though. We've had a lovely holiday so far couple more days to go so we're just going to enjoy it and make the very most of being in the Maldives. This is the water sports centre over here so you can hire kayaks, you can get life jackets to go onto the aqua park, paddle boards, there's all sorts, there's things you can pay for as well. There's so many activities to do. The weather's changed, she's able to go paddle boarding now. This is my son Henry, he's getting himself set up, he's never done this before. 
staff are working super hard after all of the rain to try and get rid of all the potholes. <laughs> It's our last full day today and finally we've got some early sunshine so I'm sitting out on the deck, the boys are asleep and it's a lot less windy. So quick tow update, it is getting a lot better. I'm allowed in the water today, just got to be careful and cover it up when I'm done and put some antiseptic cream on it. Sitting back, just letting him do all the work, it's perfect. is super still today so it's absolutely perfect we're going on the active park I think Henry can have one last go before we go home. The beach is quiet this morning we're very very early we have had a few days where we've not been able to get out and about because of the big storms and rain that we've had so yeah we're just gonna go and sit and relax let our breakfast get down and then maybe have a dip in the sea Thank mm -hmm. you. 